communication system, there are methods used to keep this from happening, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so is so that true for DNA? It's true for DNA. Okay, so most people never even know it, never even thinking, thinking about it, but at every, every single layer in, inside your computer, every single layer has an error checking system in it. Like every single one. There's an error checking system in Microsoft Word. There's an error checking system in your email program. There's layers of, of error checking system. You know, there's an error checking system in your hard drive. There's an error checking system in your wireless modem. Okay, there's error checking all and extra bits are added where it can detect, uh, you know, it, it adds this other information sure. Sure. to check, did this signal come through intact? And if it didn't, it goes back to the source and it says retransmit that, mm -hmm. okay? And everybody takes this for granted. But if it wasn't there, the internet would never work, mm -hmm. okay? Well, guess what? DNA has the same thing. So it has the systems to try to avoid Right. Mutation. And here, and, and there's multiple layers of them. And let me tell you about some of those layers. Remember I told you G, G, G mm -hmm. equals glycine? Right. G, G, A also equals glycine. There are actually multiple ways that glycine can be uh, represented. And they're all that way so that if one of the letters is damaged, the system still knows what the other two letters are. So there's kind of redundancy. There's re it's, it, it, yes, we call it, engineers call that redundancy. There's redundancy in the lowest level of the genetic code, but there's a whole bunch of other levels of, of error checking as well. 